Hey friends, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today we're making whole chicken in the slow cooker. We'll also make a delicious gravy that makes this chicken recipe so comforting. Let's get started. We're using one whole chicken for this recipe. Use a paper towel to pat your chicken completely dry. Next, we're going to season the chicken with some spices. We're using chili powder, smoked paprika, garlic and onion powder, dried parsley, dried basil, black pepper and salt. Mix all the spices together very well. Then season both sides of the whole chicken. Don't forget to season the cavity as well. Once the chicken is very well seasoned, go ahead and set it aside. Then grab your slow cooker. I went ahead and sliced some onions. I'm going to throw those in there. I'm also adding some celery and some cloves of garlic. Next, I'm adding some fresh thyme fresh bay leaves and fresh rosemary all of these will add so much flavor to the chicken place the whole chicken into the slow cooker then top it with some more fresh herbs next place the slow cooker lid on then we're going to slow cook the whole chicken for four hours on high after four hours, you want to check the chicken with a meat thermometer. If the internal temperature reads 165 Fahrenheit, it means the chicken is fully cooked. Remove all the fresh herbs. They have finished their job of flavoring the chicken. The chicken looks good as it is, but I like to use my blowtorch to crisp up the skin a little. This only makes the chicken look more appetizing, but it's completely optional. The chicken looks so good and the aroma is delicious. This is going to make your house smell like a home. Be gentle when taking it out of the slow cooker because it can easily fall apart. Look at all the sauce the chicken leaves behind. I'm going to show you how to use this to make some delicious gravy. The chicken came out very soft and tender. It falls right off and the flavor is absolutely delicious. We're going to make the gravy for the chicken. Start by draining the sauce the chicken left behind. Next, melt some butter in a pan. Once the butter has melted, add some flour. Mix everything together and let it cook for about 30 seconds. Next, pour in the sauce, then stir everything together. Allow the sauce to simmer for a few minutes until it thickens. Make sure you taste for salt, then add more as needed. I served the chicken over some mashed potatoes. I'm going to drizzle my gravy all over it. This is such an easy, delicious, and comforting meal. The chicken and gravy are so delicious. They're packed with so much flavor. If you guys would like to try this recipe, check the description box. I have all the ingredients and measurements there. 